Okay, that is Long Black Shiny Car by a band called Restless. That's the guitar solo. Now, forget about the song if you're not familiar with that. In fact, don't forget about it. Go and learn. Go listen to it. Go learn it. I've got a two, two tutorials, in fact, uh, showing you how to play the chords, the introduction, and today I'll be teaching you that guitar solo. Now, if you aren't familiar with the song, it probably doesn't matter too much because there are some fantastic rockabilly concepts that I'm using in this one. So I highly recommend sit down, play through, I'll give you some tips, I'll give you the skinny on where these ideas come from and what chords they're happening over, so hopefully you can use it in your own playing, because that's what it's all about for me folks, it's all about, uh, you learn this stuff so you can come up with your own ideas. I'm just going to take a break and adjust my glasses, because they're slipping down my nose, it's a very hot, hot day here, very muggy. Now, the full transcription for this song is actually up on my Patreon for members, if you're not a member, you can join for a variety of very small amounts per month. Check it out if you're a fan of this stuff and you're enjoying it, or you just want to support my channel. And as I love to say, keep that light on, it's my newest saying. I also want to thank Leo Fredrickson, who is a top tier member. Guys, if you join that top tier, I will transcribe a whole song and do a video just for you and everyone else, of course. That's one of the benefits for me as well. But uh, yeah, you actually get to choose and I'll go do it. And that's how I actually ended up doing this song, because Stian Towson actually requested it. And I've had an absolute ball tearing it apart. So, let's get into the solo. My guitar is tuned to E flat. Okay, so I'm playing an idea here over a C chord. It's going to sound like B. Uh, the chart's a little bit frustrating because it, they, you know, everything says like B or whatever. But just think of it as C, etc. Because it's going to be easier for you. It's just going to sound different if you put your guitar in E flat, obviously. So, that first lick uh, is quite crazy. So, I'm going to play that first bar at a, just a medium pace for you. <laughs> So let's have a look at that. Imagine a C chord. You can actually see the top half of that chord right there. And that's all that little idea is. Just like that, really cool. Okay, then the next thing we do is we, by the way, that was nine, eight, and eight. The next thing we do is, is hammer from this note here, the eighth fret, and we hammer to the 10. We pull off like that, so. Then from here, we pick that eight again. We play down on the ninth fret. Pull off to the 8, then we pick down on the 8 again, and hammer to the 9, and we pick the 8 just like that, okay? So, that's what we've got so far. Uh, this on your transcription will be bar 48, okay? And that was bar 1 of the solo, bar 48 of the transcription. Bar 2, or bar 49 of the transcription, goes like this. Beautiful rockabilly lick. Again, doesn't have to be considered neo rockabilly or psychabilly. It's really going to be how fast you play it, and what your tone's like. So it's pretty clean in this anyway. So um, it's very clean, in fact. So we go 8, 10, 8, 10. We bend the 10. We bring it back. We go to the 8 on the first string. So And then we're to the 10 on the second string. And we're over to the 8 on the first string to finish that lick off. So those first two bars... And then if you want to play uh, with the song, I'm just going to move forward slightly so you guys can see better. You'll probably hear me better as well because the mic is there. Uh, yeah, if you want to play it at full, full blast, obviously, that's when it starts to sound... But yeah, again, that's, it's only if you're playing in a Restless cover band and, uh, you know, that's what's required. So it's not the end of the world if you can't. Uh, now, the next part goes like this. Okay, I actually played bars three and four of the solo. This is not quite as challenging as the first two bars. Have a look, so we're, we're now going to think of a G chord, okay? So the first chord was up here. You can hear that relationship. relationship. Now we're down here. So we're playing the threes like that, down up, 5th fret on the 3rd string, 3rd fret on the 3rd string, and 4 on the 3rd string. He picks all of that, okay, you don't have to, you can do hammer-ons, 3 and 3 there, 5 on the 4th string, 3, 4, just like that. Uh, and then the next bar, the 4th bar, or bar 51 on your transcription, 3, 5, 3, 6, and it's a weird dragged feel here. It's like, you know, it sort of feels like they're all, the notes are all late. 
um, which is a really cool effect. So three, six, five, three, and then we pick up speed again. So again, a little hard to explain. Listen to the recording, you might hear what I'm talking about. Um, if I play a little quicker. Okay. Really cool feel about it. Okay, I'll just play it at a slightly slower speed. Okay, so now we're going to the fifth bar of this solo, and this part looks like this, sounds like this. Okay, might swing a little more. And what we're doing here is we start by picking down and up on the second string. We pick down on the third string. Sorry, third fret of the first string, so let me do that again. O, O, three on the first string open, second string upwards, so you've got to get the picking right here. So down, up, down, up. Then we play the second fret on the first string, then we play it open, and then we play down up on the second string. So it alternates the whole way through. Okay, the next bar, bar 53, three on the first string, open second string, down on the second fret of the first string. Did I say, don't tell me I said third string again. Third fret on the first string. Third fret on the first string. Up on the second string, open. Down on the second fret of the first string. As in down picking. Uh, open first string. And then we just play the second string down, up, down, up, just like that, so. Okay, next bit's not too hard. We do these double stops and they run uh, on fret seven, five, three, and two. So, so seven and down up strum. Five, three, two, just like that. Okay, and then we get this bar. So this is now bar 55. My, my eyesight's terrible. Hence the glasses. Okay, no, I don't wear them just for looks. I'm offended you even thought of it. No, no, absolutely not. It's um, which is fine if someone does, but uh, no, they're quite utilitarian on my eyes. So, so we go down, up, and then we slide from two to the four roughly. Up on the first and second string, then up, down. Okay, so there's a real rhythm to that. Okay, you can see how important rhythm playing is, even for good soloing, you know, that sort of down-up strumming type thing and getting that feel, etc. Into bar 56, we pretty much start the solo again in terms of the chords. It's been through one cycle. So we've come back to the C, that's what I was mentioning, we're in the second part of the solo now, and it's very much the same lick. So this time it sounds like this. <laughs> It's a little more sort of on the pulse this time. The first time it's quite ragged and a little bit pushed and ahead of the beat. It's a little bit hard to follow. This time's a little smoother. So we're going on the eights like that. Down, up. We pick the ten and we pull off. Then we pick upwards. We pick the ninth fret and we pull off to the eighth. We pick up on the eight. And we pick uh, down on the nine like that. Okay, so... Okay, I think he's a little late on the recording and you get an extra little hammer on. Okay, so that is bar 56 or bar 5 of the solo. Is that right? Bar 5? Bar 5, what am I talking about? That is bar 5, 6, 7, 8, bar 9. I was thinking, yeah, anyway, bar 9. So bar 10 looks like this. Okay, so what we do, we finish that lick. Then we slide from 8 to 9. We pick the 8th fret on the 2nd string, 10th fret on the 2nd string, 8th fret on the 1st string. And then we uh, pick the 10th fret, bend up, pick it again as you let down, pull off to the 8th, play the 10th fret on the 2nd string, 8th fret on the 1st string. Okay. I was just checking that I actually did teach you guys that previous part. I think I did. Uh, and then, uh, so now we're into bar 58 of your transcription, and that goes like this. 
Okay, so we're barring 15 and 15, and we pick down on the 15 on the second string, up on the 15 on the first string, pick down on the 18th fret, up on the 15th fret on the second string, down on the 17th fret, up on the 15 of the first string, okay, uh, then we pick down on the second string and up on the first string whilst holding down uh, the 15th fret, we're still barring, so. Okay, then from here we play the 18th fret with the pinky, up on the 15, down on the 17 of the first string, then we pick up on the 17 of the first string and we bend it, we bring it down, we play up on the 15 on the first string, and down on the 15 of the second string. Okay, so if I play those four bars, bars 9 to 12 of this solo, if I can count properly. Sometimes it's like trying to spell something and then you need to write it on paper. Trying to play it slow, it's kind of that same feeling. Uh, yeah, it's, sometimes you really got to think about it. So from here, we're almost done. From here, we're, we're doing a very similar concept at the 12th fret and we go... So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so we kind of repeat this finger thing down here. So I'll just play it at a medium speed. Just like that. So what we're actually doing, we're picking down on the 12 on the first, up on the 12 on the second. Pinky goes to the 15 on the first, uh, and pick picks upward on the second string, and we're just holding that 12th fret. Then down on the 14th fret of the first string. Then we go up on the second string. Pinky comes back to the 15. Pick up on the second string again. We go back to the 14. Pick up on the second string. Down on the 15 on the first string. Up on the second. Down on the 14 then do that little double stop, okay? Sorry, I know that's a little bit weird, but it's it's kind of like, almost makes more sense for you to just sort of listen to that. Okay, so from here, we're nearly done. We get this, same as before, okay? But this time, as soon as you hit the opens, go four, five, six, okay? So, double stops, all right? And you need to get that feel right. And we finish by going exactly the same. Run seven, five, three, two, oh. Pick the third fret. On the third string, give it a little bend, hit the second and first, and you get that. Okay, and that's it, guys. That's the solo. There is there is an outro, okay? That's gonna be a Patreon only lesson. So if you happen to be a member of the Patreon, you're gonna to get to jump on there and listen to that really cool outro lick. So gotta keep something for those guys, but hopefully I've given you YouTubers out there and subscribers uh, heaps to work on and, and plenty of things to enjoy and uh, to enjoy your guitar and, and learning guitar and the whole journey of learning rockabilly and psychabilly and neo rockabilly and all that stuff. Guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. What do I do now?